Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on string is implement str str. The question states that your task is to implement the function str str. The function takes two strings as argument, namely x and s, and locates the occurrence of the string x in the string s. The function returns an integer denoting the first occurrence of the string x in s, which is the zero based indexing. And in case if the string s is not present in the string s, then we need to return minus one. Let's have a look at the examples. In example one, the string s is geeks for geeks, and the string x is fr. Since fr is not present or it is a not a substring of the string s, therefore we return minus one. In case of example two, the input string is geeks for geeks, and the string x is for. Since for is present at the location phi, if we start with zero. 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 so the output here will be fine so now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem let's consider the same example as given in the question where the string s is geeks for geeks and the string x is for two variables namely length s and length x are used to store the lengths of the string s and x respectively the right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we first begin by traversing the string s from i is equal to 0 to the length of the string and at each traversal we first check whether if s of i is equal to the first character of the string x since g is not equal to f therefore we increment i now i points to the character e again we check whether if e is equal to f which is false so we keep on incrementing i until we reach a character in the string s which is equal to the first character of x in this case we have s of i is equal to x of 0 therefore we enter a if condition and create a variable flag and initialize it to 0 and then again we have another nested for loop which runs from i is equal to 0 to the length of the string x and at each traversal of this for loop we check whether if s of i plus j is not equal to x of j that is we check whether if s of i is not equal to x of 0 but since both these characters are equal therefore we just increment g again we check whether if s of 6 is equal to x of 1 since both these characters are again equal therefore we again increment the value of g again we check whether if s of i plus j is not equal to x of j that is we check whether if s of 7 is not equal to x of 2 again these characters are equal therefore we increment the value of g now j points to 3 which is not less than the length of x therefore we run out of this for loop and then we check whether if flag is equal to 0 since the value of flag is still 0 therefore we return i so we return the location phi as a first occurrence of the string for so now let's have a look at the actual code the driver code is already given and we just need to complete the function str str whose arguments are the string s and x So as we have seen in the explanation part, we have stored the lengths of both the string in variable length s and length x, as well as we have created a variable called flag. Then we traverse the string s from i is equal to zero to the length of the string, and at each traversal, we check whether if s of i is equal to x of zero. And if this condition is true, then we enter the if condition, and then initialize the value of flag as zero. And then we have another nested for loop. which runs from j is equal to 0 to the length of the string x and here we check whether if both the characters are not equal which is s of i plus j is not equal to x of j and if this condition is true then we update the value of flag as 1 and break out of the for loop which is in the for loop and after the in the for loop we have a condition where we check whether if flag is equal to 0 that is if all the characters of the string x is present in the string s and if so we return i and if we don't have any similar characters between both the strings then finally after the for loop we return minus 1 so we can compile a code now since the code is compiled we can submit it and it got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button 
and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations. Thank you.